Hello, my name is Gilbert de la Peña, applicant in junior high school. Today, I will be having a teaching demonstration in English 9, and my topic will be sound devices in poetry. This is my lesson plan. In the screen, you can see the learning competency. And at the end of the lesson, students are expected to identify the common sound devices used in poetry, locate sound devices used in the poem of Seven Ages of Man by William Shakespeare, and appreciate the importance of using sound devices in poetry. Okay? Good morning, class. Everybody stand. Let's have a prayer first. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. Good morning once again. Before you take your seats, kindly arrange your chairs properly and pick up some pieces of paper. Okay. So, how are you today? How are you feeling right now? Okay, very good. Very good to hear that. Let me check your attendance first. Boys, count off. One, two, three. Okay. Girls, one, two, three. Okay. Perfect attendance. So since you are in perfect attendance, I will give you five points. Okay. Pass your assignments now. Front seaters, collect the assignment and pass it on my table. Okay. Now, what was our topic yesterday? Who can recall our topic? Okay, anyone? Okay, yesterday, we discussed about poetry. So what do you mean by poetry? So when you say poetry, that is a literature that is written in verse and emphasizes the rhythmic use of words to create imagery. So this time, I will be showing you some pictures. As I flash on the screen all you need to do is to name what pictures you have seen in that screen okay anyone okay in the screen you can see that there is a microphone headphone and speakers okay so now what do these pictures produce anyone okay these pictures produce Okay, very good. These pictures produce sounds. So based on our topic that we had yesterday and the pictures that I am showing you right now, who has an idea of our new topic for today? Okay, very good. So today we will be talking about sound devices used in poetry. Okay, let's define the meaning of sound device. When you say sound device, that is a literary techniques used in poetry to create musical effects. So some poets use sound devices as a strategy to create an emotional response by the listener. So this time, we will be discussing the commonly sound devices used in poetry. So we have the first common sound devices used in poetry. We have onomatopoeia. So the meaning of onomatopoeia that is a sound device used by a poet to imitate the sound of an object in the poem. So in the, in the screen, you can see the example. Okay. And these are the other common sounds to identify onomatopoeia. You can see it on the screen also. Okay. We'll proceed now to the second. We have alliterations. So when we say alliteration, that is the repetition of consonant sounds at the beginning of the words. Okay, there is the example. Okay, you can see it on the screen. Third, we have assonance. When we say assonance, that is the repetition of vowel sounds within words. All right. Okay, the example, you can see it on the screen. Okay, we'll now proceed to the fourth sound device. We have... Consonance. Consonance, that is repetition of consonant sounds within and at the end of the words. Example, you can see it on the screen. Alright, so fifth, we'll now proceed to the fifth sound device. We have repetition. What do we mean by repetition? Repetition is just a simple repetition of a word within a sentence or a poetical line with no particular placement of the word. Example.
Okay, you can see it on the screen. The sixth common sound device used in poetry. We have rhyme. When you see rhyme, that is a musical device which the ending sounds of words are repeated. So rhyming words do not appear only at the end of the lines or in poems, but they may also appear within lines. So there are two types of rhyming words. So we have external rhyme and internal rhyme. In the screen, you can see the difference and the examples as well. Okay. Do you have any questions about the common sound devices used in poetry? Okay. Clarifications. So since you have no questions, I will be the one to give to ask you question. Okay. So how many common the sound devices we have discussed for today. Okay. Okay, very good. There are six. Okay, so what are those? Okay, onomatopoeia, alliteration. Okay, what else? Assonance. Okay, consonance. Okay, there you have it. Very good. Okay, now. So why do poets use sound devices? Anyone from the group, from the class? Okay, you? Okay, very good. So, some poets use sound devices as a strategy to create an emotional response by the listener. It is not easy to be a poet because you will be using sound devices so that your poems or your literary works will be attractive to the listener or reader so okay you yourself class would you like to be a poet okay later on you will be a poet okay so i prepare an activity okay as you can i will flash it on the screen okay i already group you into three right okay so number one and two items Group one, you will be answering the one. You will answer number one and number two. And number three, four will be group two. And number five and number six will be answered by group three. Okay, all you need to do is to identify the sound device used in the following statements. Okay, okay, volunteer in group one. Okay, very good. Group two. Okay, there you have it. Very good. Group 3. Okay. Very good. Okay, class. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay. It seems that you really understood our topic uh, for today. So since you already understood, I want you to get half sheet of paper. And also your book. Get your book and open to page 13 in your book okay in page 13 you can see there that there is a poem written by william shakespeare entitled the seven ages of men what are you going to do you have to locate the sound devices used in the poem following this pattern as i flash on the screen okay i will be giving you 10 minutes to answer that one okay Take your time. Okay, 10 minutes is up. Okay, pass your papers. Okay, I will be the one to check it. Okay, and your assignment, copy your assignment and your assignment will be you have to give two examples of the following common sound devices in poetry and use only half sheet of paper. Okay, so we'll be running out of time. That would be all for today. Goodbye, classes miss, see you tomorrow.